Okay, today we're going to be uh, taking it back a little bit. We're going to be looking at a wonderful Sabres Ray Scavenger Hilt. This is a pretty old model. Um, it is a Sabre that I've had for quite a while. I just never did anything with it. Um, I had bought it off of someone some time ago at a pretty low price. And, you know, I just like it because it's real small and slim. And, you know, it, it looks good enough. So this is a personal saber. Um, for that reason, the chassis on it. Um, for that reason, and for the reason that not many people have the saber anymore. So I mean, not really anyone's <laughs> that I can think of is doing an install on this other than myself. So I just made the chassis real bare bones, real nice and sleek looking, real basic. Um, literally just to hold the components. So, but I'm gonna be going over that today. Um, so yeah, I bought this as it is now. It was wrapped weathered and it had some really weird um foam padding on here like it was brown and black i'm not entirely sure what the guy was going for i tried removing it as best as i could and this is um how what it left off um i haven't put a second wrap on here but i kind of just like how it looks right now so i'm just probably gonna leave it as it is um not the most screen accurate ray but i mean looking at it it's very obviously ray sabre so <laughs> Um, let me go ahead and take out the blade plug and just get it started here. So this is a removable chassis. Um, I looked in the market to see if there was any kind of removable chassis that didn't involve, um, having to unscrew this or really mess with this at all. Um, but there wasn't. So I made my own chassis design. Um, it's a three part system. Uh, there's a holder that holds a, the CC Sabres NeoPixel connectors and a 2020 uh, ring of or accent pixel strip um, right here underneath this engine or whatever you would call this. Um, and there's a piece of uh, translucent resin, resin that sits over these um, pixels. That way you don't see the pixels themselves whenever they light up. You just see the diffusion and it looks real nice and and you know, just better than, than seeing the, the 2020 strip down there. Um, there's a separate piece that holds the six row connector from CC Sabres here, along with the switch. Um, and then it's the full chassis that holds the rest of the, of the components. Now it is really a, a really basic install, but it is still something that I really liked. And I haven't done a basic chassis in a long time. So I really liked how this one looked. I sent it to my friend, uh, to my friend Caleb just because I thought it was really cool looking <laughs> but okay so you pull it out like that put this down and you can see it's really like a really simple chassis but it looks really nice you got the CC Sabres uh, six roll PCB there removable battery 24 millimeter speaker and the profi board um, there's a lip here that you can see on the chassis that when inserted into the hilt, it gets caught right here. That way it doesn't go any deeper than what it has to. And um, as far as like rattling goes, there's another lip in there that you can see right there above my fingernail, which pushes up on this end here. So it, it doesn't move at all. It's perfect fit. So let's go ahead and pop in the world's ugliest battery. I'm exaggerating, but okay. And I got a bunch of uh, sequel, sequel fonts on here, or like sequel inspired character fonts in here, I should say. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop it in there. Oh, actually, the way that I like to do it is I'll, I'll do it one of two ways. I'll either put it here, like, you know, and then just screw it on there like so. Or I'll flip this around like that, drop it in, and then screw on the pommel. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'll just go ahead and put the chassis into the pommel and then screw it on there. There it is. It does slide in there perfectly. I'm sorry if y'all hear chewing in the back. My dog's chewing on his bone. Um, so I'll go ahead and screw it in there. 
And I like to do it vertically just to make sure that nothing rattles in there. All right, there. So it's a snug fit already there. I do got twist on. Twist up. Twist off. Swing on. And as you can see there, you don't see the pixels themselves. You just see a really nice diffused lighting in there. So we'll go ahead and go through the fonts. Now, um, I'm not going to go through all the blade styles when I put the blade in. Um, because a lot of them are very similar, if not maybe one or two of them are identical. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the 7 8 inch blade adapter in there because my blade is 7 8 of an inch. Uh, but it does take a 1 inch blade. I just like how these look better. Especially like in a smaller hilt like this. So, you know what, I just put it down so y'all can see it like that. If you unscrew the pommel, you can see the 24 millimeter speaker underneath being held in place by that lip I had mentioned. All uh, right there. Screw that back on. One thing I will say about this hilt is the switch mechanism is really weird. Um, you kind of just have to put like either a long switch on there, which is bound to break at some point by like doing it like this, or you can do what I did, um, which is there's kind of a, a section that's like seated kind of vertically, or I should say like at an angle, like at a 45 degree angle. I placed, um, a six by six uh, tactile switch seated up against it like that. That way when twisted, the gear will kind of like bump onto it like that, as opposed to having a, a switch seated like that and having it constantly be pushed to the side, um, eventually causing it to break. So that's what I did for this one, um, just to have that not happen. And it does make it so that it works a lot easier, you know. See, works very well, very responsive. Skywalker. And back to Ray. Something inside me has always been there. But I'm awake. So yeah guys, let me know what y'all think. Um, I hope y'all like this install. It is, like I mentioned, a really um, old build. But... It's one that I just wanted to get out of the way because I've had this saber for a long time and, you know, I've, I have I never actually got to do anything with it. Um, let me just show y'all how taking out the chassis works. So taking out the chassis is just as simple as putting it into the hilt. You just unscrew the pommel. There's quite a few threads on here. Slide it out. Turn it off. 
you get a tool and very lightly you just pop it out a little bit like that not even has to be that much and you just take it out so there you go guys um inside you can see you can see it probably like that the uh six rail pcb and you just go ahead and slide it back in Got to put some grease on those threads. Um, but all right, guys, let me know what y'all think. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, it was definitely a fun build for me. It's been a while since I've done something this simple, but, you know, it's always good to get back to the basics. Um, I hope y'all like it, and I'll see y'all next time.